And let me tell you, the alternatives are more disastrous because if they take over, I can guarantee you nobody will be found. Breaking news. CDS Musa hints at military takeover. He cries bad governance in the zoological republic of animal kingdom Nigeria. Here the news in detail. On what he says, wonderful people of the Afro lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome to be Afro United Channel slash television this very moment. Today's date is 20th of September 2024, and I have breaking information and video clip for every one of you listening to my voice right now from where you are all over the world. Dear friends and lovers of freedom, I want you to pay very good attention to this very news. Because it's very, very important, I can assure you, my people. The Chief of Defense Staff of the Zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom, Nigeria, Christopher Musa, has decried the bad governance in the Zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom, Nigeria, under Mohamed Tinubu. Right now, he has hinted the military takeover, which everybody is already expecting in the Zoological Republic of Animal Kingdom, Nigeria. So without further ado, I want us to watch this very interview from Arise News Television that he granted this very morning. And after that, we will analyze it properly. He did not just hint at military takeover, he also decried the bad governance and it did not end there he also highlighted what the zoo janjawi terrorist soldiers are facing especially those who are here in the place they call southeast those who are fighting the biafra liberation army even though he never mentioned it but before moving forward let us watch the video and then we proceed from there so how do you respond to those who say the military is giving excuses, CDS. Um, there are criticisms from figures like retired General Theophilus Danjuma, who says the military cannot continue to give excuses. There are criticisms from individuals like the Zamfara state governor, who says, you know where the bandits are. But as a state governor, he's limited. And so the federal government should do that. I mean, you answer to the federal government. So if you do know where the bandits are, like the Zamfara governor claims, and that there should be no excuses, like retired General Chofilos Danjuma is saying. How do you explain to Nigerians that these are not just excuses you are giving? Well, uh, we know that the Armed Forces of Nigeria is highly professional. We will never give excuses. We are only telling you the realities on ground. Uh, it's not an excuse that the, the whole network is 200 and something thousand square kilometers. It is massive. Uh, you need a lot to be able to address those issues. And then the worst part of it is that people need to understand fighting insurgency is not like conventional warfare conventional warfare you know the enemy insurgency you don't that person that you think is innocent and doesn't have anything is the person that really want to kill you is the one doing these things now we know that they are in nigeria where in nigeria is another thing most times because of the vast nature of the area once people see them at a particular area before their relation the information is relayed to us sometimes it takes four five hours sometimes 24 hours these guys are mobile and because most of that area that you see is covered by forest. So by the time they go under the forest, even the, your, your, your surveillance drones cannot see them. So it takes a lot. And because they don't remain at a particular then they are always moving. That's where we are seeking uh, for the support of the individual because people see them. And as, see, as soon as they see them, once they report that, we'll be able to take action immediately. Now, don't forget, fighting asymmetric warfare, military role is just about 20-25% of the solution. 75 to 80 percent of the solution if it's with good governance because preventive measures are better than you being reactive what we're now i want you to pay very good attention he has started talking remember he said 80 percent of it 75 to 80 percent of fighting asymmetric warfare it depends on good governance now pay attention we're doing that is reacting to it because it has already been there Again, we have social issues on the country. There's a lot of hunger, a lot of unemployment, a lot of illiteracy that is on. So it's you see, now he is hitting the government. He said, again, we have a lot of hunger in the country. We have a lot of unemployment. We have a lot of uh, illiteracy. He is talking about the government. But remember, he is here to speak about military takeover. So let's continue. It's easier. I can bet you in every week we take over thousands of them, but they still keep coming. Why? 
because we have so many of them, we will have to look at population explosion. There are a lot of people that have nothing doing. And these guys could easily entice them, give them peanuts, and then they will be able to join them. And so that's why we, I said it's a holistic thing that we need to do. Now, I tell you, a lot of these locations where you have uh, uh, improvised explosive devices, these are the major challenges we're having now in, fight, in the fight against insurgency. Now he's talking about Biafra land, though he did not mention it. But he's talking about Biafra because that is where they usually talk about these explosive devices, i.e. this and all that. So pay attention while we continue. If your men step on any of these mines, the vehicle in it is destroyed, all the occupants are dead. That is exactly what we have been doing to them, especially against their ammo tanks. That is exactly what... <laughs> Let's continue. Now, how do you stop that if we have good roads? If you have good roads, you don't have to worry about that. Your troops can really react as quickly as possible. Reinforcement is easier. Logistics could be moved quite easily. So you see, it makes it a lot easier. He said, to react to that is only when you have good roads. And who provides good road? The government. He is still hitting the government. Now let's continue. Now what you do is that if you see a situation where you have terrorists uh, uh, maybe operating 10 kilometers away, because of these IEDs, you dare not speed up to go there. If you do that and you step on any minefield, you are gone. We do not have those modern IED, uh, counter IED equipment that could detect probably using drones across. So what do we have to do? We have to go on foot and cover every inch of the ground. So you can imagine trekking, scanning every inch of the ground for 10 kilometers. How many hours will that take you to? But men, the troops are doing the best they can. And I can guarantee you we are committed. We'll continue to do what we're doing. And with the support of every Nigerian, it's important and that's why i need to call on nigerians i've had a number of time people insulting members of the armed forces or the security forces i think nobody nobody will be happy with that we are humans we deal with the morale of the mind if you are protecting individuals and you get those insults it discourages you from wanting to do more and that's why it's important for people to know that these guys have families they're equally Niger. they will have been in their homes at home sitting out with their families some have not seen their families for months Yet, whether it is raining, whether it is dust, or from wanting to do more, members of the armed forces or the security forces, I think nobody, nobody will be happy with that. We are humans. We deal with the morale of the mind. If you are protecting individuals and you get those insults, it discourages you from wanting to do more. And that's why it's important for people to know that these guys have families. They're equally Nigerian. They will have been in their homes, at home, sitting out with their families. Some have not seen their families for months. Yet, whether it is raining, whether it is dust, or whatever the situation is, they are sitting down there, swear they have sworn to an oath to stay awake so that Nigerians could sleep. I think the least we could do is to support them. If they make mistakes, yes, let's bring it, but let's not insult them. And I think that's the wrong thing for people to do. So we want to appeal to Nigerians. Let us come together, support them, because without them, all of us sitting there in our homes, eating and drinking, it's not going to be possible. And let me tell you, the alternatives are more disastrous because if they take over, I can guarantee you nobody will be free. So Did you hear that? <laughs> that is why I was waiting for him. He said that the alternative is very, very disastrous because if they take over, if the military take over, nobody will be free. Did you hear that? I have been hammering on this. I have been telling the whole world that Musa is gearing up to take over the rulership of the zoological republic how many of you remember even not quite long ago just a couple of weeks or months ago i also talked about it i told you that musa christopher muhammad musa is gearing up is preparing to take over the presidency of the zoological republic through military coup although he is not the one that will actually carry out the coup the younger soldiers will carry out the coup under his supervision but during this time both during the planning process which is ongoing as i'm speaking to you right now which has begun very long time ago during the planning process and during the you know the time to carry out the the you know the action musa will be completely omitted he will be removed out of the picture but immediately they succeed in doing this musa will come and take over the power because it is well planned the only problem they are having is Labaja. I'm telling you, the only problem they are having is Labaja because Labaja is on the side of Tinubu. 
Labaja cannot allow military takeover, but Musa and his boys are seriously pushing for military takeover. How many of you remember? How many times I have been talking about this? And I have even went further to tell you that Musa is preparing to take over in the Zoological Republic. How many of you? I want you to comment in the comment section if you are following and if you keep history. I want you to let me know in the comment section. So let's continue. Let me tell you, the alternatives are more disastrous because if they take over, I can guarantee you nobody will be free. So it's very, very important. And let me want to, that's why I want to make that very clear for Nigerians to understand that because you have your sitting there in your comfort and enjoying yourself, you think those guys don't matter. They have families. If you go to hospitals, you see some of them amputated. Some have died. What happens to them? Always remember, put yourself in there. All right. <laughs> you have seen it. And remember when he calls on the Nigerians to support the so-called armed forces. Of course, when you say armed forces, he's talking about the Nigerian terrorists. When he calls on the Nigerians to support them, he is talking to Nigerians, not Biafrans. He is talking, he is talking to his own people, Nigerians, not we the Biafran people. Because if anybody from Biafra land sabotages the effort of the BLA to neutralize these terrorists from our land and regain our independence and freedom, that person, you, I'm talking to you, 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 who have made yourself willing tools to these criminals, these terrorists from, from Zamfara, from Sahel, from Brono State, from Medugri, coming down here in Biafra land to massacre our people, our women and children, and you made yourself available as a willing tool to sabotage your own people, you will pay the ultimate price. In fact, a man, not, not that you are you man non a Biafra land to spend the money, but a man non do will spend the other money. Mad people everywhere. Thank you, my people. Tosalo no mozi akona poto and make it go viral.